So people are quite confused and people don't know what to do with this new WhatsApp privacy policy. And some people are asking these questions. If I never used Facebook before, if I don't have a Facebook account, does it mean I need to open a Facebook account or, and, or less my WhatsApp will be deleted? And what if I have a Facebook account? Will Facebook be like BBM that was updating people on what I do on my WhatsApp platform on Facebook? Is it going to be that way? Will my privacy be finished entirely? What exactly does this new privacy policy entail? Well, if you have questions like that, I'll be explaining what the privacy policy is and what the negatives are, okay? So basically, the new WhatsApp privacy policy states that WhatsApp can now share your information with Facebook and then basically on how you interact with others. And then this will be taking effect from um, February 8, 2021, which means you must agree to their terms of, of service or their privacy policy if you want to continue using WhatsApp. If not, you have to just, your account will be deleted if you disagree with that. So you have to agree or your account will be, dis will be deleted. Okay, so if, for those asking, do I need a Facebook account? If I don't use Facebook or if I never use Facebook, uh, well, yeah, kind of. You need to have a Facebook account and then somehow get a link with your WhatsApp. So that's what they're basically tell, telling us. So it's basically by force now to have a Facebook account. And so, so in case you don't know the data WhatsApp will collect, WhatsApp will be collecting your battery level, your signal strength, your app version, browser information, mobile network, connection information, your IP address, so many information and basically they're going to share it to Facebook which is still owned by the same person. WhatsApp and Facebook is owned by the same person. But what is the major thing that will be shared with Facebook? So their privacy policy clearly states that your phone number, your IP address, your mobile device information will be shared with Facebook. And then Facebook can decide to share with other companies, other third party um, companies or websites or whatever it might be. So it said this also includes your account registration numbers, such as your phone number, your transaction data, service related information, information on how you interact with others. Like it's just it's just very funny. So some of these things that they are they are putting now is, is just breaching breaching of privacy. But so is it that you choose? Do I have a choice of quitting WhatsApp or what's my choice? Do I go to other social media uh, platforms or messaging platforms? And obviously, Telegram and others are not good enough. So what do you think is the best one to switch to if you would switch at all? And if you're not switching, why are you not switching? So for those that are confused on the whole thing, maybe you don't understand the whole privacy, and maybe you're not a tech person or something, the only thing is that your messages, your chats are still encrypted. Like if you chat with someone, nobody gets to see your chats and they don't share your chats. But the only thing is that if, for example, you you want to get an iPhone or something like that, Facebook take no, takes note of your chat. Okay, you want to get an iPhone, you send the link to someone, blah, blah, blah. They take note of that. And what they do is they send it to those people that they can share it with third party sites that, oh, this person needs an iPhone start sending the person iphone related ads so that the person will buy get to buy the phone so that's what once they share that information that you need your iphone or something those particular third party sites start sending your ads relating to that so they know what you want they know the type of content you want to watch or that you like or that you enjoy so i know most nigerians might not really care about this like most nigerians would not really even know what this implies and all until they start seeing some negatives but if you need my advice do well i would just say if you go through the privacy policy policy and you understand it basically and you feel you can't take it it's just best you find another messaging platform okay Telegram is not even advisable, though it's looking as if it's getting better than WhatsApp with this um, stuff they brought out. Usually before Telegram or something or the platform people ran away from because of their whole privacy policy. Now WhatsApp has worsened theirs. So, but right now people are confused on what platform to join or to go into right now. So for me, I guess I'm, I might quit WhatsApp. That's just it. So let's just see if they get to change 
ya mind